These are the new, what we're calling the calligraphy goss hooks. And Ross Richmond is a maestro who I work with to make the pieces that are glass in the studio. And we have been close since 1998. He's a wonderful sculptor. He also works with Preston Singletary. And um, he worked on uh, Billy, William Morris's B team. And then um, we started working together back at, in 98 at Pilchuck. So anyway, these are the newest, this is the calligraphic goshawk series. And what I'm gonna do right now is take this piece and I'm gonna walk over here. And this is my table. And these are, this is a secret Renaissance medium made with local beeswax and Damar varnish and a few other things. These are French pigments and it's a Renaissance medium. So it's like working with mm, Renaissance paint or oil paint. And then I work on them and I can reconfigure or change. This is the wax. And alter the feeling. You can see nobody, it, this takes like three days to make. You have to use a double boiler. You have to act like Rembrandt. And it's very permanent. And this is called okra gris, which comes from hmm, comes from Provence. No. Um, the fellow at the Lacoste School of Art, there was a little town called Roussillon, and they make pigment right out of the mountain. So sometimes Ross will use the glass pigment and sometimes he'll figure that I'm going to slightly rearrange things with my pigment. And it's a wonderful collaboration because he's extraordinary. And I can draw a little bit. So, and I love to do this. This is my favorite. In a large circular motion. And if I don't like this, I can take it off if I do it in about an hour or two hours. But if I wait, then it won't come off for a couple hundred years. And it's really a form of drawing. I didn't want to do that. So I can take this off right now with a little elbow grease because it's essentially um, wet paint or wet medium is what we call it. This is a beautiful color. I'll 
do this side. And you can see my dogs find this very boring. They much prefer the chiseling. What happens is when you look at this stuff, it starts to slow you down. And Last, uh, blows my mind, actually. That's something that's molten, that sets, that becomes so both translucent and immortal and permanent and has this presence that is very is very much like stone, which is why I love these materials. And I I can be a pretty noisy, self-involved New Yorker, and then there's something so spiritual and um, it's like sitting under a tree looking at this. Stone is perfect. The glass is perfect. Now I'm gonna hang it back up so you'll see the difference. And then I'll go back to my chair. And you'll see that it's a very subtle difference. But they like being touched and they have a presence. Shannon worked on the um, calligraphic goshawk on the right. It's like a Morse code or dots and dashes or calligraphy or ancient writing. going to go over there and either pee or start carving. I'm not sure what I put my money on. The dogs are inspecting the sculptures. Here's what I'm supposed to do. So we plan to show called Tall Tale. And it was because um, Sebastian and I managed to carve this incredibly perfect, wonderful piece out of one piece of stone. This is my studio chair. I've had my studio chair since 1973. I've never sat on another chair. I got it for like 50 bucks in New York. And it's my studio chair. Anyway, so we planned this wonderful show. Um, Bookie, don't pee on that. And... Friends with for many years. Um, 
who I originally met through uh, Billy Morris and Ross Richman and their dog named Watson. Actually, Sarah's dog that that Bill was taking care of and loving. And they, they all came down to pick out work. Am I supposed to look at your camera? No. Okay. They all came down to pick out work for this show. And Bill loved um, the Miranda he had headphones on and he stopped li listening to his book to look at the Miranda tail and he said he wanted it. And we made this piece much taller um, so that it ended up become, becoming a tail. Um, it was like this tall, maybe this tall. And it was at the north end of the studio, which is up there, and I always thought it was very tall because I was down in my chair. But then when I saw it in New York, at the gallery, it looked short. So we brought it back here, and Shannon and Brian and I, oh, made it much taller. We ride each and every element together. This is a spider and um, made it very tall and Bill wanted it for the show. Then that tall tail and then the coronavirus happened and we couldn't all the things we picked out was Jillian and Sarah and Bookie is carving stone right now. This is very important. The dogs help me. They love the limestone. This is all recycled Provencal limestone that's made out of fossils and minerals and um, calcium carbonate. It's actually stuff they put in our health food drinks. It's very healthy for them. But he's also got a really nice aesthetic. He likes beveling. And then they were all here. We picked out all the work. And now some of it can't go. Actually, none, none of it can go because of, um, I'm in an ordered shelter in place. I think that's enough.